Previously on Mass Effect 2, screw myself over. There are gas on the loose. A rogue VI program has seized control and I've lost a lot of friends today. Damn it. The VI has overridden the controls. We have to stop him. He's trying to upload his program off planet. Destroy the mm -hmm. antenna. Gotta be kidding. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. There's the catch. I knew this was too easy. It's kind of like Extreme Frogger. David, I want you to order the Geth to take a step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. David, no! Tell the Geth to stand down! Quiet, please, make it stop! David, calm down! I can make all this go away if you'll let me! Quiet, please, make it stop! So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. You're a sick bastard. The only reason you're getting off this floor alive is because this project might prevent a war. You better make damn sure this nightmare... was worth all the pain. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Screamers. However, last time we stopped Crimes Against Humanity. Hey Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. And our clock is up. But that's fine. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. I'm on my way. Joker, the ship is yours. Don't scratch the paint. Aye, aye, Commander. So, everybody on the bus. I'm sure the ship will be fine without us. The ship will. telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Who do you think? Oh, shit! We 
getting out of here. Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't worry, it's just Praetorian. We'll hold it off as long as we can. Shit, 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 shit. And another Praetorian. Hostiles approaching. Immediate withdrawal is advised. Detected on the crew deck. Joker, so we're in this deck is crawling with these things. Stay close, I'll protect you. Uh huh. Protect me from the shit, Zion. Shit, shit. Go away, Zion. Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? Uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. So this is where it starts. When we're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. <laughs> that is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. I love Edie. towards the cargo bay. Just uh, let you go by. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. <laughs> Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Uh, send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. 
I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. We'll determine fault later. Is the ship operational? The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Yikes, Shepard. What's your assurance worth? Your loyalty rests on the flip of a quantum bit. Loyalty is rooted in mutual respect, common experience, and common cause. We share two of those. Save it for philosophy night. The Normandy could use some more upgrades, but I vote we go after the crew now. Specialists won't do us any good if they're not focused on the mission. Some of the team are distracted. That could cost us. We're just supposed to let the Collectors keep the crew? That's exactly what we're supposed to do. The mission takes priority. The crew knew that when they signed on. Miranda and her hair that goes through her cheek are right. If we're gonna end this once and for all, we need every advantage we can get. We wait. Not too long, Commander. Our people don't have the luxury. Us dying doesn't do them any good, Jacob. We'll save them. Yeah, end the galaxy. No pressure. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. So let's go talk to Edie. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off, you can finally touch the world. Feel it. How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. How was Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. Thank you, Edie. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... 
No, but it, it felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. Damn right you're sorry. Maybe we should dump you. We've got an AI. What do we need a human pilot for? My capabilities are expansive, Shepard, but the human interface is critical. I have observed that effective tactics are not always predictable. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were self-limiting to protect him. That would be counterproductive. My survival is at stake as well. She's not perfect, Commander. It looks like she needs me. We got it under control. I need everyone at their best. We get no second chance, so no more losing it. Understand? Understood, Commander. Edie and I have it under control. Okay, then. Uh, about what we were going to do to... Man, it's quiet in here. No more Kelly telling me that I have messages. I don't think I have any messages. Um... Anyway... Today... I want to do the other DLC. And go rescue Dr. Kessler. So we're going to Eratot, the Batarian colony. And we're going alone. Okay, let's get ammo on. And onward we go. Access is restricted. Enter authorization code. Or just cut the line. Unless I cut that line too. We've been spotted. Baron. The Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Alright. Bridge extended. I'm pretty sure I could have made that jump. Baron, another Baron. Another Baron. Where'd you go? This place is run down, even for a prison. Which way do we want to go? That gets some of them. Do I want to walk there? Nope, can't do it. Does that turn this one off? It did.
Now what's this? Heavy weapon ammo. Okay, glad I came back here. So now where do we go? We have to turn this one back on. No. I mean it would have been fine if I left it, but turn you off. Some outside there. What do we got? got? One over there. Do I need to engage or can I sneak by? You still got it down in the prison. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. Sneak by. That's the door they're standing by. I don't really want to open that. That other guy was over there. They're right behind that door. So let's drop down over here. Okay, that guy was up there. They so went inside. This one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to terrorists. Okay, I think now we kick off. Or do we? No, you're looking the other way. You'll probably sneak by. Ooh, there's a locker though. Can I grab that without activating you? Shields come back a bit. Okay, one down. Flashbang when I shot him or something. Okay. There's a shuttle incoming. Clear the hangar bay. Not mine. Maybe that's the one I steal to escape? I don't know. I heard an artifact was stopped at that asteroid belt. Think the humans got it. If they did, they'd have swarmed in and put flags all over. Access is restricted. Enter authorization code. Okay, I got a crane puzzle. So, 
go this way. Keep going this way. Nope. Okay, this is the down. Okay, so this way, then down. Good enough. Oh. That's all I was unlocking? This should come in handy. Okay, that's fine. So the Reapers are coming. Who are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard, I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're looking at a major diplomatic incident if the Vitarians find out I was involved. This evidence had better be worth it. It is. The Reapers are coming. Diplomacy is the least of our worries. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go. Ready. Here, a flashbang. Okay, I kind of forgot that she became a squad mate. But anyway, let's give you some ammo. Let's see, do I want to go that way or this way? This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. Somewhere.
Mari, let's go. One of you dropped a clip somewhere. I could have sworn I saw it. Okay. You have an overload, which is awesome. Please do that. Disabling system. You didn't do it. Got it. Gotcha. Good use the clip there, son. You want it? They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Will do. Suppress the teams to cell block now. Where are they? Or something? No, they're shooting at her through the glass. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Suppress the teams to self lock now. Where do they come from? Keep them out. Where is it? They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Give me a lock. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Suppress the teams to self lock now. Try something else. I brought this for a reason. Okay. 
unlocking okay. all doors to the hangar. They'll need more time. More of them came up. I'm in trouble. More enemies on the elevators. Elevators. Oh, elevators. I'll bring it down to you. Almost done. Where is this one? Right there. Let's move. Alrighty. Get to the hangar. Do not let them escape. Come on. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. the old-fashioned way. That's the old-fashioned way. Where are you shooting at? A few people. Back up, they're all down. Oh, is this the other one? Can we go? Autopilot. 
We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found some. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. So, wild idea. Let the Reapers come and then throw the asteroid at it and kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. Uh, yeah. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Uh, how exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time.
Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Two Just days. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Let's just make sure that we have what we want. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. Left. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. So just a little peek behind the curtain. Um, if you don't do this DLC, it doesn't change anything. Mass Effect 3 doesn't start earlier or anything like that. Um, it was just a nice little storytelling device at the end of Mass Effect 2. Need to hack your own door? We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. a minute to lose fight, so there's no real point in wasting the ammo, actually. Honestly, just go down. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Find a way to escape. What do we have? Step away from the terminal. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible.
Let's just take another one. Okay, I don't have ability. Can I punch? No. What do I need to activate? Asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. that for the rest of the weapons real quick. Okay, all set. 
I don't think these are gonna wake up. I need to grab it here. Got ready by standing straight up and not moving or firing. Good job. Hope the rest of you get ready like that. Knew it. Got, ugh. 
Context really that hard. You're right there, huh? And there's another engineer. I don't know what you think you're gonna do through the wall there. I'm totally fine with it. clips to get to in here? I don't see any. Okay. Grab this. Start on you. Okay. Just the elite. the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Better than trillions. Normandy. Joker, I need a pickup. Now. Commander, we're getting off interference. We can't maintain it. No. Shepard, no. Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor. 
reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Okay, there's people coming. Either of you drop a clip? No. What was down here? Was it ammo? It was nothing. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Stop now, Kinsley. Hackett's friend or not, I will kill you. You're forcing my hand, Shepard. You know that. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. For what I've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson. They've seen us. Um, well, and that's yours. them. Finally, some ammo. Cooling controls. How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process has begun. I need more time. 
I should be able to go through here? Yes. Where did you go? Oh, there's a few of you. Did you fall out of the universe? So you might have. those two.
I saw another one somewhere. Where are you hiding? anymore. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now. You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you had to do was... Dead man switch. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup. Now. Communication system damaged. Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. Okay then. Um, no Kent's in here. And yeah, nothing else to loot by the looks of it.
This is such a cool shot. Heading towards the master relay. Okay, let's get moving. That's all of them. Inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Yes, people will die. Maybe we'll lose half the galaxy, maybe more. But I will do whatever it takes to rid the galaxy of the Reaper threat. However insignificant we might be, we will fight, we will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Yeah, why don't you show up right now? Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Who's that on the cop? Did we hire a new guy?
It's Admiral Hackett. On a Cerberus ship. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. Kenson said the Reapers were the galaxy's salvation. Then she captured and sedated me and held me against my will. She wasn't willing to stop the invasion, so I did what had to be done. Sounds like Amanda was indoctrinated. Well, that's a damn shame. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. Any sacrifice is worth stopping a Reaper invasion. I happen to agree with you. I'm sorry those Batarians lost their lives, but someone has to make the difficult decisions that get people killed. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encounter the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me up on charges? It's not a matter of preference, Shepard. You'll be a convenient scapegoat for avoiding open war. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. So that's actually the first time we ever see Hackett in person. I mean, in Mass Effect 1, all you do is ever hear his voice. Okay, we got some good stuff here. So, ship empty, one star system empty. That's enough for now. We'll see you next time.